This Sunday, the 8th of October, is the Paris de Tour cycle race. So I take off my landscape and travel photographer hat and put on the editorial hat. It's a race that I've done a couple of times before um, in 2014 and 13. And last year I also did the Tour de France, two stages of the Tour de France. So when you become an editorial photographer and you do event photography, normally you're given uh, these lovely accreditations and um, that gives you access to all sorts of places that the public can't go as obviously we need to be able to get the images for the news and they go on to various news feeds. So in my case it'll be going to the Alamy news feed as well as Rex features which I've just joined so uh, that's something that I need to sort out before I go. Um, these accreditations as I said they give access to various places so uh, on the back it actually outlines all the different places that you can uh, have access to and then on the front it actually designates the places that they give me access to so although it looks a lot there I probably have about half of it so depending on your seniority in some cases uh, such as the Tour de France depends on where it is that you can go. Um, gear wise when I go and do editorial photography an event such as the Paris de Tour cycle race tripod is just useless there's no point because basically you have a cyclist coming towards you at 50 miles an hour and it, it's there and gone so if you're not ready if you don't understand your camera there's no point doing something like this you have to be ready and get it like that it has to be in out gone so gear wise what do I take my first priority when I'm uh, at the beginning of the event is uh, basically to have my 28 to 70 portrait shots of the riders. So just be taking my Canon 6D um, as a backup. I've got my 5D Mark II in my bag. Um, so that's going to be the portrait or portrait type of shots at the beginning of the race. Uh, when the cyclists line up as well at the beginning of the race, that's also a useful lens. I don't need anything hefty because they're static so I've got them where I want them as well as the other photographers it's probably going to be about maybe 20 photographers or less I've never really seen that many photographers there which is always good as there's always room to maneuver um, when it comes to the uh, arrival of the race because the cyclists are coming in down a straight road in the center of tour they are coming down there very very fast so we are pushed back probably about uh, 100 meters or so I think it is from the finish line and, and so you need to be able to get back up to that finish line how do you do that of course you have a nice big lens so this is the Canon 100 to 400 mark II. this will allow me to get right up to that finish line while being pushed back once the cyclists are over the finish line they then whoever is the winner first second third they go up to collect their prizes so the 100 to 400 can actually be quite useful there. I may take my 70 to 200, but probably just leave it at the 100 to 400. And also um, I'll be then going straight back to the 28 to 70 and uh, flash as well. So I've got uh, a Canon 430EX2 Mark, 430EX Mark II there, I think it is. Um, so that will get me the... Uh, the images that I need. Once that's over, I then need to run to the town hall and then start uploading the images onto the newsfeed because basically time is of essence when it comes to editorial photography. Those images need to be prepared and sent off ASAP for any newsfeed and any newspaper and news outlet that wants those images. They need to be there, done, dusted, gone. So before I go, I do make some preparation on the post-production side um, that's mostly to do with metadata so I need to get in uh, a title for that metadata and then a caption and I need to know who it is that's won the race second and third and, uh, and we'll get all the keywords in there as well so that when it goes onto the news feeds they're there ready for sale in 10 minutes and that's going to be the Paris de Tour cycle race that's this is the preparation the next as well um, after this so I have to obviously think what gear I'm going to take is the route. The route it doesn't start in Paris it's going to start uh, it never starts in Paris but it's called the Paris de Tour cycle race for some strange reason. It starts uh, this year in a place called Bru which is spelled Bru 
my wife will probably kick me for my French pronunciation. It's spelled B-R-O-U. That will be the departure town for the Paris de Tours cycle race. I'll then study the routes over today and tomorrow, and I'll find somewhere where the cyclists are going to be coming down, and I can get a good clear shot of them without people annoying me. Hopefully with the accreditation, the police will maybe give me a little bit of help as well. So that's happened in the past, which is always good. Um, so I'll get them somewhere probably about halfway down. Three quarters of the way down is the city of Amboise. So I do know Amboise quite well. What I'll be doing there is I'll be looking to find a spot where I might be able to get, get up above the straight road that they'll be coming down, which crosses the Loire. Then I need to get over to Tour as quickly as I can. So that's going to be very interesting for me because what, last time I did the Paris to Tour cycle race, I used to live in Tour, so it was easy to get back to where I lived. This time I don't live in Tour, I live outside of Tour. So I'm going to need to get in, find somewhere to park, if I can, I hope, and then run to the finish line and get in there and get to that finish line and get the shots that I need as those cyclists come over. So once that's done, as I said, then it's straight to the town hall and send off the images. Now I'll be taking you through my day as it happens on the 8th of October for the Paris to Tour cycle race. Today is Sunday the 8th of October. It is the 111th Paris to Tour cycle race. As I explained in the introduction, it doesn't start in Paris itself. It's starting in the village called Brou, which is about B-R-O-U. I'm headed there, it's about uh, 10 to 9 in the morning. I'll be there in probably 15 minutes or so. I should be there to pick up my accreditation so I can get the cyclists before the start where they're mingling around and getting ready, warming up. Um, so I get the start of the race, then I get the, the actual start itself. Then I'm going down to a village, which uh, I can't remember the name of right now, to uh, get them when they're going through there. Then Amboise, and then the finale in Tour. So the weather's been pretty rubbish on the way up. It looks as though it's clearing this morning. Looks as though there's some blue sky ahead, which should be good. And um, hopefully it'll be a good weather day. Got my lunch in the back as well, so I need to keep uh, keep my energy up as I'm as I'm going about my day. It, it is going to be a day of chasing around. So once those cyclists have gone, I need to get in the car and get ahead of them. So um, that's where I'm, that's the village that I'll be going to. I'll explain where that is later on. Um, then down to Envoise again. So when I'm right, driving that route, I just need to find a way around the cyclists as I'll be heading through uh, Vendôme. So I need to avoid Vendôme. Um, and to get to Amboise and then from Amboise down into Tour. So it's uh, going to be a pretty packed and full on day, but hopefully should be good. And as you can see now, as I'm filming, the sun is coming up, which is great. So it's looking good out there. Let's get on with the day. We're off. The cyclists have gone from Brou. I'm trying to find my way now down to a place called Raha, which is spelled R-A-H-A-R-T. Just nondescript place, middle of France. I just found it yesterday on Google. It looks as though it should be good when they're coming down the road. They'll be coming down there in probably maybe two hours time. I've got 40 minutes to get there to find where I can get to, where I can park. There's just always problems with the road. Getting out of Brou, there was a lot of problems with traffic, roads blocked everywhere. It's always a nightmare trying to do this stuff and you're not following the actual cycle route itself. It's just one of those things that you've got to deal with. However, I got what I wanted at the beginning. Very nice shots of the cyclists lined up at the start and then when they went off. So that's done, dusted. All i got to do now is get to the next place. Okay, so that's the second part of the Paris to Tour cycle race. I had enough time to sit back, eat a bit of lunch, as you do. And uh, also I was able to get some images off of my uh, one of my cameras and get them off to Rex features. So hopefully they're, they're online by now on a news feed somewhere being transmitted out to the world. So uh, that'll be quite nice because of the country lanes avoiding cars. So uh, that was that, that's that bit done. The next thing I've got to do is get down to Envoise. 
and hopefully what I can do is the route that I've uh, plugged into the sat nav will get me down there with as little time as possible and as little hassle as possible because obviously this uh, I'm probably going to come across some roads that are still closed at the moment there's obviously as well a lot of people that are around as uh, it's a very popular race so uh, I better concentrate on what it is that I'm doing and get down to Omboise. and I'm on my way to tour right now kind of got something but not really something that I was really happy with um, when I turned to get the castle and the riders there was uh, a press photographer motorcycle in the way which was quite frustrating but you know there you go got the riders coming over the bridge that goes over the Loire and it, it looks okay it's just kind of a long lens shot it's not, not, nothing really special at the moment I'm trying my best to get the tour and it seems everybody and their uncle right now is going along the road that you know, it just basically goes the wire is just over there and uh, just goes straight to tour this road here it seems like everyone their uncle is on this road right now it's extremely frustrating Sunday afternoon so uh, they're either going on the cycle race going to the cycle race or uh, they're just out for a nice Sunday drive and uh, instead of doing the usual French driving they're just ambling around so there we go Sunday driving in France. Okay, so that's it for the Paris to Tours cycle race of 2017. Did I really get what I wanted? It was okay. It wasn't really what I wanted at the end of the day. Uh, I obviously got the uh, the winner as he came in. Was it as sharp as I really wanted it to be? No, it wasn't. I'm not very happy about that. There's not much I can do about it though. I was concentrating on the guys. He came over the winning line and normally they come over the winning line and they've got their hands off the handlebars, arms flung up in the air. This guy just looked as if he didn't have a care in the world. And so it kind of was a little bit distracting. So I was getting shot after shot after shot. And um, I'm kind of thinking I should have taken my mono PA, my monopod, sorry, to, uh, to get that final shot. But where is it? Who knows? Buried somewhere in our house at the moment. I, can't, I haven't got an idea where I put it. It's been a good day though. Um, obviously lots of planning went into it. Some good stuff that did come out. Certainly at the beginning of the day, I'm very happy with what I got at the beginning of the race. Obviously, a lot of people though, do think of the end of cycle races when you've got that sprint at the end. And especially in Tours, it's just a huge straight avenue. It's an avenue to Glamour that they come down. But, um, you know, what can you do? Not a lot, that's just how it goes. So, what's next? Um, not sure yet. Autumn is uh, certainly taking hold over here in the Loire Valley. And uh, when I was passing some vineyards earlier on, they looked very, very nice indeed. So I might have to go out and do a bit of landscape photography instead, rather than the old editorial stuff. So, uh, but we shall see, um, see what the week brings. On Tuesday, there is uh, a general strike over here as they're not very happy with what Emmanuel Macron is up to at the moment. So uh, I might do a bit more editorial photography on that day. Probably won't film a day. Um, but I might do, I don't know. We shall see. But there you go, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope it's been okay. Hope you've uh, enjoyed a little bit of a different insight as to what it is that I do as a photographer, that I'm not just landscape and travel. There is a bit more to me than, than just that. So until next time, whatever that might be, thanks so much for listening. Thanks for everyone that, subscribed, that has subscribed the last few weeks or so. And see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.